In the year 1921, Sindh Province, Pakistan, a pivotal moment unfolded when R.D. Banerjee, an officer of the Distinguished Archaeological Survey of India, embarked on a journey, guided by the serene presence of a Buddhist monk. Their destination was a place shrouded in historical mystique, believed to be a sacred sanctuary of times past. Instead of an anticipated shrine, buried beneath those ancient mounds of soil, lay the remnants of a sprawling city, an echo from the depths of history. However, it was not until 1922, under the leadership of Sir John Marshall and his team, that systematic excavations began in earnest. A city born from the enigmatic Indus Valley, dating back to 2000 BC. Ladies and gentlemen, this city would be known as Mohenjo-Daro, a name that resonates with the weight of history, translating to the Mound of the Dead. Welcome back. Today we embark on an extraordinary expedition, deep into the heart of the ancient Indus Valley civilization, with a spotlight on the mesmerizing enigma that is Mohenjo-Daro. This remarkable archaeological site, tracing its lineage back over four millennia, stands as a testament to the remarkable urban planning, cultural richness, and innovative spirit of its era. But it's also veiled in secrecy, particularly when it comes to its mysterious abandonment. The Indus Valley Civilization, one of humanity's oldest urban marvels, flourished in the region that is now modern-day Pakistan and northwestern India. It was home to some of the world's ancient cities, including Harappa, and, of course, the enigmatic Mohenjo-Daro. The ruins of Mohenjo-Daro have captivated the imaginations of archaeologists, historians, and inquisitive souls for generations. Its sophisticated infrastructure, ingenious drainage systems, and meticulously designed streets hint at a society with an astute grasp of urban living. However, around 1900 BCE, this thriving civilization seemingly evaporated from historical records, leaving behind tantalizing fragments of its existence and an abundance of unanswered questions. Picture, if you will, a city far ahead of its time. Mohenjo-Daro was a marvel, where the science of sanitation rivaled even the standards we uphold in our modern cities. It was a thriving hub of trade, where commerce flowed like a river, connecting this ancient realm with the distant lands of Mesopotamia. As we delve deeper into the story of Mohenjo-Daro, a puzzling mystery begins to emerge, one that challenges our understanding of this ancient civilization. You see, historical estimates suggest that at its zenith, Mohenjo-Daro was home to around 40,000 people, a bustling metropolis teeming with life. However, the enigma lies in the fact that only 43 skeletons have been unearthed at the site. This stark contrast between the estimated population and the actual number of skeletal remains discovered has baffled historians and archaeologists alike. The question arises, what happened to the multitude of inhabitants who once walked these streets? The disappearance of the Indus people from Mohenjo-Daro shrouds the city in an air of mystery. The answers, it seems, are buried beneath layers of time, waiting for the relentless pursuit of knowledge to unearth them. There are several theories surrounding the sudden disappearance of Indus people from Mohenjo-Daro. However, it was not until 1977 that Lord David Davenport, a British researcher, uncovered a story that would boggle the mind and defy conventional wisdom. Mohenjo-Daro, a city that thrived 2,000 years before the birth of Christ, did not succumb to the ravages of time or the cruelty of conquerors. No, its demise was far more extraordinary. With samples in hand from Mohenjo-Daro's ruins, Davenport sought answers through scientific analysis. What he uncovered left experts astounded. The objects he retrieved bore witness to an unfathomable heat, reaching temperatures as high as 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit, followed by an abrupt cooling. No natural force could replicate such an effect. Davenport's conclusion was nothing short of astonishing. He believed that the ancient Hindu manuscript known as the Mahabharata held the key to Mohenjo-Daro's end. In its pages, a tale unfolded, a tale of white-hot smoke, brighter than a thousand suns, reducing the city to ashes, boiling waters, and the horrifying immolation of horses and chariots. A ghastly weapon, unlike any the world had ever seen. Could it be, as some suggest, that the pottery's irrefutable evidence of extreme heat is a defining clue to the powerful event that may have befallen Mohenjo-Daro, such as a nuclear blast? Yes, you heard that right. Adding to this enigma is the concept of vitrified remains, a term that conjures images of extreme heat and a cataclysmic event. The challenge lies in the restricted access to the site, preventing scientists from thoroughly analyzing these intriguing remnants. In our quest to unravel the mysteries of Mohenjo-Daro, scientific analysis becomes our guiding light. It is here that we turn to the work of dedicated researchers, and one name stands out, Dr. Sam Iyengar, a mineralogist with a thirst for knowledge. Dr. Iyengar's journey leads us to the vitrified pottery found within the ruins of Mohenjo-Daro. Through painstaking efforts, he obtained a piece of fused pottery, a relic of this ancient world. 
His journey of scientific exploration takes us to elemental analysis, where we discover that the Mohenjo-Daro rock contains a unique composition, mostly silicon, aluminum, with traces of calcium and potassium. Yet the real revelation comes with X-ray diffraction, a technique that can unveil the secrets of how materials were formed. When Dr. Iyengar conducted X-ray powder diffraction, he uncovered a pattern unlike any other. Crystal peaks emerged, accompanied by an amorphous hump, a signature of a glassy phase within the rock. The composition bore a striking resemblance to volcanic rock, except there are no ancient volcanoes around, raising profound questions. The mystery deepens as we confront the fact that the only way clay could be transformed into the vitrified substance seen at Mohenjo-Daro is through exposure to searing temperatures, ranging from 4,000 to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. These are temperatures beyond the reach of any civilization intentionally. This audacious theory is not born from thin air. It finds its roots in ancient texts. In the pages of the Ramayana, where the descriptions of a blinding sun-like explosion echo through the ages, some suggest that just perhaps this event found its stage in the heart of Mohenjo-Daro. The Ramayana, a timeless tale that has woven itself into the fabric of Indian culture and spirituality. Within the pages of this epic, we find a connection that transcends the boundaries of time, a connection between Mohenjo-Daro and the Ramayana's vivid account of the destruction of Lanka. It is here that our story takes an intriguing turn. In the Ramayana, we encounter Ravana, a formidable mortal who acquires his power from the god Shiva himself. Ravana's might is amplified when Vishnu, a divine entity, assumes the human form of Rama to engage him in a battle of cosmic proportions. The descriptions in the Ramayana speak of an incredible, blinding blast, like the sun turning into fifty even more brilliant suns, a testament to Ravana's unearthly power. These are not mere tales of mythology or superstition. They are documented historical events of a time when humanity wielded advanced technology. Our journey through Mohenjo-Daro's enigma takes us to a realm where history, myth, and science converge, prompting us to question the boundaries of human achievement and the mysteries that lie within the sands of time. The presence of vitrified remains where stone is transformed into glass-like material due to the intense heat serves as an eerie reminder of a cataclysmic event. The implications are profound. If we entertain the notion of a nuclear blast in the ancient world, we are faced with a stark reality that our ancestors possessed knowledge and technology that defies our conventional understanding of history. In the shadow of Mohenjo-Daro, we find ourselves on a remarkable journey, one that has taken us through the annals of time, unraveling the mysteries of one of the world's oldest civilizations. We've ventured into the enigma of a city that thrived, that vanished, and that now challenges our understanding of history. As we conclude this expedition, the theories surrounding Mohenjo-Daro's fate remain as captivating as they are enigmatic. Was it a nuclear blast, an event of supernatural proportions, or a manifestation of advanced technology in ancient warfare? The questions linger, echoing through the corridors of history. But the true beauty of our exploration lies in the shared quest for knowledge. We invite you, our fellow explorers, to share your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Your insights and perspectives are the torches that illuminate the path toward understanding the past. Your curiosity and passion for the past fuel our endeavors to uncover the secrets hidden within the sands of time. Thank you for watching, and until our next adventure, may your quest for knowledge continue to inspire.